Researchers yesterday unveiled a miracle in Mississippi and the science behind it. Ron Winslow is here to tell us more. Ron, a baby was born in Mississippi and cured of the HIV virus. Tell us, tell us more about what this could mean moving forward for the thousands of babies that are born with HIV every year. So this baby was uh, born with the AIDS virus, not with, the, not with AIDS ex itself, but born with the AIDS virus, was treated immediately <clears throat> by a doctor because her mom had never, had, was, uh, had not been in any prenatal care, right. hadn't been previously diagnosed. There is a way to give mom AIDS drugs if they're pregnant, um, well, during pregnancy to prevent transmission to the child. In this case, that didn't happen. The doctor said this is a high-risk case, gave <clears throat> an aggressive dose of AIDS drugs to the baby. And 18 months later, the mom stopped bringing the baby to the clinic for reasons we don't know. And um, when they returned uh, and tested for her, the virus was undetectable. So this was the first time that this has been found in a child, only the second case ever of a documented cure for the virus that causes AIDS. And <clears throat> researchers believe that if it's confirmed, and it needs a lot more work, but if it's confirmed, it could change care for the hundreds of thousands of babies, almost all of them, in sub-Saharan Africa mm -hmm. that are born with the virus every year. Now, you said it requires a lot more work on the part of researchers. What are they gonna do moving forward to indicate this is more than just, this, this could be something that would be used to help lots of other babies? So this is, so this is one kid, right? And right. so they need to t test this out in other babies, give them early treatment, probably compare them um, against uh, the con conventional strategy to see if indeed the virus is can be cured with this strategy. Now, these are commonly used AIDS drugs. They're already widely used in Africa and other um, developing countries, so it's not the high cost, gen it, it's not the high price new AIDS drugs, it's the very long-standing medicine. So if indeed this works, it could be scalable in a way in a developing world that could have an impact. Now, the other person who has been who has been cured, known as the among scientists as the, as the Berlin Man. What's the difference between him and and this baby? Is so he was an adult for one thing. Mm -hmm. He actually had was diagnosed with AIDS and also leukemia, and he had a bone marrow transplant to treat the leukemia. And his doctor deliberately found a donor who had a p mutation in uh, who had a mutation that. Um, uh, that essentially cha changed the, the patient's, um, the, the ability of the uh, virus to penetrate the cells in the patient. Wow. So it was, it was a, that was a pretty f remarkable event as well. Yeah. But we couldn't give everybody in the world who's got HIV a okay. bone marrow transplant to treat that. So this, this new idea, if it proves out, and there's some people who, you know, who are still looking for uh, a little more um, assurance that this was actually done, but if this proves out, um, it would it could have much broader application in kids, in in babies. This was not mm -hmm. this is not a finding that has any immediate relevance to people who are diagnosed um, as adults or as as adolescents um, when and in, in the in the infection is well established. This was an infection, but it was barely established in the baby. Wonderful. All right. Well, Ron Winslow, thank you so much. And obviously more details in, in your story that's, um, that's online.